All right, question number three. We're talking about science again, and this question's a little wordy too, a little bit more difficult. Let's check it out. It says, which form of energy is needed to change water from a liquid to a gas? So right away, we want to know what's going to change a liquid to a gas. Now, I'll give you a second to think about this. Off the top of your head, just brainstorm. What could change a liquid to a gas? Okay, you're talking about temperature change. Maybe chemical change. All right, so let's look at some of the choices we have. The first choice they add to give us is heat. So they say if we add heat, okay, to this equation, what's going to happen? Can we change a liquid to a gas? Well, there's definitely a possibility, so we want to put a question mark there. This is a good possible choice. The next one says mechanical. Now, when they're talking about the word mechanical, They're talking about the functioning, okay? They're not talking about changes in chemical state. They're just talking about the functioning, so you know this has got to be gone. Here's one where you might get a little confused, okay? Because it says, which form of energy is needed to change water from a liquid to a gas? And then it says chemical. Now, if you're thinking about science, you think chemical, science, liquid, gas, that probably makes sense. Actually, it doesn't. It doesn't make sense because at the end of the day, look at the question. Which form of energy? Chemical is not a form of energy, but we know that heat is, so let's keep our eye on heat. And finally, the last choice they give us is something called sound. Now, if we look at this question, they're not talking about playing any instruments here. They're not talking about playing the piano. So they're not talking about using sound in any way or form. So this is what we call a brain shaker. Okay? We call it a brain shaker because it's used to throw you off, so it can't be the right answer. So going back to the context clues, we're looking at a form of energy. We know that heat is a form of energy, so we know that heat has to be the right answer. Because if we add heat, okay, it's definitely going to change this into a gas. All right?